Gur Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grbeagly and I'm once again playing the game Bit Trip Runner 2. Now last episode we once again destroyed a large number of levels. This game really isn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. We're already in World 3 and we're just crushing it and it's just like, I mean, we're almost to the third boss already. I think there's only five worlds too and uh, you know, I was discussing this with my good buddy Finn. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out Finn Pyre, definitely go check him out. I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you guys can check out his channel. I'm sure you've heard me talk about it. What is this? Keep running. Oh god, it's gonna be like a speed pad or something. But I feel like they almost made this game a little bit easier on purpose because the first game was such a rage fest. This game is probably going to get a little bit crazy at times, but so far it really hasn't even had like a moment of the same sort of inkling that the first one did where like by world two and the second one it was or the first one it was just oh my god it was probably the hardest most frustrating game of all time and you know that's oh my god we barely got that gold um but like yeah because i don't know there's there's very few games that rage me out oh my god we died already <laughs> Um, but there's very few games that rage me out. Uh, Geometry Dash is one of them. Oh, I just got a little bit of a lag, lag spike. That's how the game makes it hard, is they give you a lag spike. Or you just keep talking and you, you don't pay any attention at all because you're an idiot. You also really want that gold? Yeah, I got that gold. Yeah, I did. You can't do anything about that game. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, Geometry Dash, the first Bit Trip Runner, and Super Meat Boy are like the three games that I've ever played that have really just raged me out to the point of almost wanting to quit. Actually, with Geometry Dash, I ended up doing so, uh, partially because of the game being just very difficult, and partially because the community is kind of mean and pretentious and rude, and also I don't like people being like, play my level every five seconds. I mean, I would love if some Gerbigli levels got made in that, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It might be a while before I revisit that one. I know that they just put out an update on it, so I might do that once again. Oh my god, completely perfect run. I'm feeling good there. I gotta get a, I could have gotten more points if I decided to dance, but I didn't. I just wanna dance sometimes, but I didn't do so there. Oh, what's that? The key vault. I don't know how I get to that. I, I'm sure there's probably like a secret path or something that I can find. Alright, Xvere Omega is the top of my leaderboard right now on my friends list. I don't know who you are, but congratulations for being the top of the leaderboard on this particular level. Good for you. Uh be up, be up. Ooh, oh my god. Okay, had the duck there. So it really does ramp up the speed. Let's do some dancing. Yeah, get those Uncle Dill Dance moves down. That Dill Dance is going hard. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Anyway, so, wow, that slide. That's got to, like, rip the pickle skin right off his back. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, those are the few games that I've decided to quit. Oh, Battletoads, I forgot. That's right. I did a Battletoads playthrough, like, very early on this channel a very long time ago. And, uh... Yeah, I definitely quit that one. That game is impossible. God, if you guys have never played the retro classic Battletoads for the NES, for the NES, that game is nuts. It's absolutely insane, oh but. And uh, I highly recommend giving it a go, just so that you can sort of see the granddaddy of all Rage games. That game is like, I don't know. It's There's something crazy about it that like makes you come back and go, I can beat that. This is fine. This is totally normal. And then it's not because it's evil and awful and whoa. <gasps> did I find the key vault? Did I find the key vault? I hope I did. The moon's even surprised. Look at that dude. That dude was surprised. That dude was super surprised that we, we got <gasps> we got the key vault. Yeah, we got the key vault. I, I don't think I've ever gotten a key vault in this game yet. Danmaku. Danmaku Addict is number one on the leaderboard for this one. Congratulations, Don Maku Addict, for being the biggest Don Maku Addict I know. And also for being number one on the leaderboard on this. Whoa, baby. Oh, man, Key Vault, you are crazy. you making me feel crazy, Key Vault. Oh, oh, my. Oh, oh, that's right. There's those flyy prop the propeller ones that you got to whack about. Those guys are jerks. All right. Kaboom, shaboom, shaboom. Oh, my God. Okay, so I have to jump between... I actually have to, or I have to use my shield there. That's probably more of what I have to do. I was going to say, I have to jump in between those ramps. Holy crap, that's crazy. I missed the gold already. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need the gold. It's all right. Unless, uh, you know, the only way to get a key is to get full gold. That's going to piss me off if that's the case. But, you know, these things will sometimes happen. Um, 
Ugh, come on. Like I said, I'm only here to beat the game. I'm not here to get all the secrets or anything on this playthrough. Uh, possibly in the future, but not right now. There we go. That's not so bad. Bam, 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 bam. And we got a checkpoint. I know that the checkpoints make it a lot easier and way less rage-inducing, so that's part of why this game isn't quite as crazy bonkers with the, uh, you know, insane, just making you feel awful about your whole life thing. But it's still, like... I don't know, there's something about like the patterns, or maybe it's just like the aesthetic of the game itself that just is less rage inducing. That was a frame skip. I don't know if you guys saw that one. Now I'm gonna blame that one completely on my computer deciding to hiccup there for a moment. But oh man, see if there's anything that's gonna rage me out, it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that doing that thing that it's not supposed to do be do. Alright, so hopefully it doesn't do it again. You know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to get the gold. I'm not going to get the gold because I'm not going to risk it skipping on my booty again and causing me massive annoyance. Because, like I said, I don't need all the secrets. If that is what I need to complete this level and get a key or whatever the hell, then I don't care. I don't care enough for it. I'm sure that's what I needed to do. I bet I had to get, like, perfect, and that's, that's what would have given me the key. But... Oh, or not. All keys in the Supernature now revealed. Ooh, so now I can go back to any of those previous stages where there was a key and a giant lock, like the one where I kept running into the giant lock, and I can unlock those big locks, which is cool. So let's go back here to Low Hanging Fruits. This time we'll take the alternate, alternative path, the alternate path, um, and then, uh, yeah, be able to figure out how to get to the regular level. Like I said, I want to try to get to the boss fight this episode because we're not very deep into we're like seven minutes deep into this excuse me guys i got the burpees holy cow um <laughs> but uh yeah I, I i feel like uh we can definitely get into the boss because we're only seven minutes into this episode and we're already killing it we're already crushing it real good here so yeah not too bad got our checkpoint yes thank you mr burger face mr burger faces burgers very good ah kaboom boom nice getting everything we can and all the gold! Oh my god, that guy almost touched us in the bootay. Would have been yucky. Oh my god, missed that one gold. Just that one, it's going to be the only one we missed too. Guaranteed it's going to be the only one we miss. And that's fine. You know, if that's the way it wants to play it, that's just, that's just how it's going to play it. I'm sure it has its reasons for it. It was the only gold we missed. <laughs> god damn it. I hate being right sometimes. I hate it. Um... Like, I would have felt a little less worse, actually, if I had missed the second gold, because then I would have been like, ah, we weren't going to win it anyway because we missed that second gold. But it turns out that um, I'm just a turd nugget But All right, Don, Don Maku Addict, once again, top of the leaderboard. This one has a treasure chest. Cool. Oh, yeah. Check that pro move out. Got all those golds there. Very, very good. But like I said, I don't need all the gold. I don't ever, I've never needed gold in my life to be happy. So, you know. You know, mo money, mo problems, right? That's what they say. By they, I mean dead rappers. But, hey, these things happen. What is that, a spaceship? That's a spaceship UFO in the background. That's a UFO spaceship, spaceship, spaceship in the background. All right, damn it, we missed the gold because I was very distracted by the fact that there's extraterrestrial life in whatever exciting freaking world uh, Uncle Dill and Commander Video live in. But... Chances are I'm going to end up having to fight those spaceships. I bet those are going to end up being the bosses of the Supernature. Maybe not, though. I don't know. They might not be. Who knows? Not me. All right, cool. I think we took the key path this time, so we might be able to get a key and unlock some shizzle butts. Now that we... Oh, no, or we just got a treasure chest. Hell yeah, Mac Daddy is something we unlocked. I don't know what Mac Daddy is, but we're going to definitely give it a shot. Look at all those freaking crazy spaceships. They're so crazy. That's weird, but awesome. They're supernatural. Okay, so we missed one gold. Let's check out our character roster, see what Mac Daddy is. Oh, Mac Daddy's for... Oh, damn it, it's it's not for Uncle Dill. Oh, Mac Daddy's for, for Commander Video. Oh, man. Oh, it's like Lil Mac. I get it. Mac Daddy. I'm going to play as that. That's really cool. I dig that. As much as I like creepy Uncle Dill and creeping you guys out with him... Oh, man, we already got a challenge stage unlocked here. I'm going to play as Lil Mac... Hey, Jill, question mark, pill, once again, top of the leaderboards here. Thank you very much. All right, yeah, look at look at the spiffy Commander Daddy. For those of you who don't know, uh, uh, Lil Mac is from Punch-Out, the game, and Super Punch-Out, the game, uh, and the Punch-Out for Wii, and Super Smash Bros, and a number of other games. So uh, that is where 
That's why I got so excited. I was a uh, NES kid growing up. I played a lot of uh, Punch Out back in the day. So Lil Mac has always held a special place in my heart. Um, oh, oh, getting a little bit tricksy hobbits there on me. All right, so we got the key. Now we just got to find the big, obnoxious, stupid, oversized lock of dumbness. And then everything will be good. Nice, nice. Oh, man, Jill, question mark, pill, coming for your special score. Oh, my God, we did a flip through the... Did a flip through the fireballs. I got so excited that I, I, I mistimed that jump there. Damn, okay, that is cool. So that's the first time we've ever busted through a lock. So that was really freaking cool. I'm glad about that. Oh, man, I'm not going to beat Jill question mark, pill's score because I... Uh, all right. Yeah, screw that gold because, first of all, I missed gold. And then, second of all, I didn't get the uh, all three points of that triple crazy square thing I have to jump through. Not square, yeah, square thing. That sideways diagonal square thing that I have to jump through. Whatever it is, I don't know. I'm rambling because I'm trying to keep myself distracted. I got a chest. The long run. Cool. This is cool. I'm really happy. I love this game a lot. I'm always having a good time when I'm playing this game, which is the exact opposite of the first game. I cannot reiterate that enough. When I saw that there was a second one of these, the whole reason it took me like, I don't know, what's it been, like a year, maybe a year and a half since I played the first one, is because that first game freaking raged me out. Luis uh, Oviera, thank you very much for being number one on my leaderboard. I don't know why I'm thanking you because I have to beat you at some point. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that game was crazy, crazy annoying, and I just, there were days, like, I'd boot it up, and I'd be like, I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this right now, because it's going to make me mad and put me in a terrible mood, and, uh, this game has never done that. Every time, in fact, every single time that I've wanted to play this game, oh, I missed the gold. You mother of pearl butts. God damn it. Uh, every time I've ever thought about playing this game, it makes me really happy. It makes me super duper happy. I've been excited to play it. I don't know which the path that I just took, if that was better than the other path I could have taken, but whatever. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> Unless I restart the level. Oh my god, that was close. I could feel my nuts getting shaved off by those guys. All right. Kaboom, boom, boom. Okay. Okay, we'll duck under those blocks. That's fine. Okay. Uh, fireballs? Fireballs and blocks together trying to trip me up. I see what it's trying to do here. Very annoying. Very clever, too. Once again, Trixie Hobbits. All right, we didn't get all the gold. Didn't get all the gold. It's okay. It's okay. There's that happy, stupid mountain in the background. Yeah, it's really, really... Yeah, he's a mountain. <laughs> One gold once again. That's all right. We are flying through these. We're going to get to the boss fight. We're going to beat the boss on the first run. That's my call on this. Little Brother 42, thank you for being the 42nd of all the Little Brothers when there was only 41 previously. Um... <laughs> I don't know why you named yourself Little Brother 42. I'm just, I'm speculating here that there's multiple Little Brothers. Shame on me if I'm, I'm doing a poor job of speculation. Uh, oh, speed pad for me. Oh, oh my. Those guys got very close to touching me in the naughty area. Okay, boom, 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 and boom, and a checkpoint for me. All right, and the only reason that I wouldn't get to the boss, I think, in this episode is if I end up uh, going the alternate way. That was close. I brought out my shield for some reason. Oh, God, I jumped over those dudes. I can't believe I jumped over those dudes. I was so surprised I missed the gold. Holy shit. That was crazy balls. All right, but I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, if I find too many alternate paths, although I'm not sure if I saw any ultimate paths left. Ultimate paths? Alternate paths left on... The world map there. Oh my god, I gotta slow down on the talking. This game is speeding up a lot. It's probably like, you were talking shit, Kirby. Now it's time to fuck you up, man. And it's it's gonna do it. It's really gonna do it if it, uh, if it keeps on this path of destruction. Good, my internet went out. That's very, very good. I think it might be with... I don't know. I, I'm gonna punch Time Warner right in the ding-dong. I don't like them very much. And it makes it so that I can't see what your guys' high scores are. Makes me very sad inside. Um... But, ah, let's get a dance move in there. Oh, yeah, that little, little Mac, little Mac two-step. Nice little dance move there. Is that an explosion noise? Is that what those boost pads are supposed to do? Like, like get going. It's going to be super fast. We'll make the sound effect for you. Oh, God. Oh, my jeebus. Oh, there was a retro thing down there. Not like I would have wanted to try it anyway. See, that's something that would have distracted me. That's something that would have uh, wrecked our progress because we would have wasted time doing the super frustrating retro level that no one wants to do, even though I was just talking about how awesome retro Lil Mac outfit is for Commander Video, whatever. Quiet. Don't. No one heard that. Just be quiet. <laughs> 
Missing gold left and right this time around. Tons of gold gone. That's all right. That is okay. That's all right. Everyone's okay. Whoa, whoa. I'm not even having to... I didn't even have to press anything during that end sequence. Once you hit that first launch pad, you just get propelled up everywhere. Good God, I got to slow down with the talking. It just... The speed of the levels really did pick up quite a bit. Um, yeah, that's fine, though. That's okay. That's all right. All right, let's go ahead and once again check our characters because we got long run is something. I know what long run is. Is that a character? Uh oh, it's a costume for a guy we haven't unlocked yet. He looks like a alien, maybe a squid man. I don't, I don't know. Oh whoa, it's like retro runner. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna play as Uncle Dill. He is our good luck charm. And I feel terrible if we left him out of this boss fight when he did so much work. There we go. There's my internet back. Joe Clutch Mark Pill. Thank you for being number one to fight this boss. Oh, God. What the hell is that? I saw it in the distance. It didn't look good, whatever it was. Even the mountains look very, very upset by whatever's coming our way. That was a big old log. Oh, hi. Oh, sir. Oh, it's Timble Tot in a big, stupid... Oh, Dickles. I'm going to have to duck under those, aren't I? <laughs> So it's Timble Tot in a big, stupid lumberjack costume. You know what? Screw you. I'm going to dance in your face, mofo. All right. Jumpy, jumpy, ducky, ducky. Jumpy, ducky, ducky. Jumpy, jumpy. This is weird because this is slightly isometric. Like, it's not completely horizontal. So it is a little bit harder to judge when I'm supposed to jump. So if this gets really precise down the line. Oh, there we go. That jump punch mechanic. Get rid of that stupid saw arm. You don't need a biz, Natch. You're, you ain't ever gonna touch this pickle. You ain't ever gonna tickle this pickle. That's what I gotta say. If this gets super precise down the line, it's gonna get really hard to do that at this angle just because of that isometric view. So I hope that's not the case. I, see, see, this is what I'm fucking talking about. It's gonna send me all the way back to the beginning. Oh no. The boss fights have checkpoints in this game. The boss fights have checkpoints in this game. I knocked him, I knocked an arm off of him and I got a checkpoint. This game is crazy easy compared to the first one. And it's really, really nice. It makes me feel good about myself. Like, when I boot this up, I'm like, I feel good at rage games. Yeah! I didn't even have to jump. I just punched. Well, that worked very well. I still got softy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And ball shooting mechanisms. Hello, sir. Okay. I see that you like balls. I am also a ball connoisseur. Which is why I'm so good at jumping around them. Bam! Right in your stupid timble top face. Was that it? Was that it? Was that the third try? That was the third try. I said first. I, only, I did it on third. I'm I'm willing to take that. That's a bronze medal in the Olympics. I mean, Jesus. And we got the bullseye. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very cool. That means that we are unlocking World 4 already, guys. We are flying through this game. I know that there's tons of secrets that I can go back to, and I plan on going back to them at some point. I'm not sure if I'd make that a bonus episode or if I'd just do that completely off screen, but goddamn, I'm feeling good. So anyway, guys, we're going to actually end the episode before we unlock World Number 4, which is called The Mountain Set or The Mounting Sads. Is that the name? I can't really see because that other uh, derpy head is in the way of the words. But anyway, guys, I'm feeling really good about this game. I'm enjoying it. I hope that you guys are as well. If you are, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.